Hey guys, so I know I look super crazy. I apologize. My hair, I just got out of the shower a few, like an hour ago. My hair, this is my natural hair. It's a mess. It's huge. It's full of secrets. Obviously receipts for shit like this. So, um, as you guys now know, uh, there was a fucking quake on Twitter because Jeffree Star and Manny MUA just out of nowhere decided, hey, we're friends again. Apparently, I mean, I haven't been on Snapchat in a few days because I don't really check that as often anymore. I don't really know why. But apparently they were on Snapchat. I got the Snapchat picture here. And release that picture captioned catching up. People went to Twitter and there it was. The fucking holy grail of all fucking slays. Now, obviously, Jeffrey is a tweet and delete kind of person. Excuse my throat. I'm starting to get a little sick. Obviously, Jeffrey is the queen or king of tweet and delete. He does a shit always. All the tweets that he deleted, I have them here. I mentioned this in that one minute video I uploaded a couple of minutes ago. I'm not somebody who's selfish as fuck, who thinks that screenshots are mine because I take them. That's bullshit. And I'm gonna go ahead and just say right now, I'm directing this directly to Here for the Tea because she mentioned her last video, apparently, I've been told at least, that there are thieves out there trying to steal her work. Please tell me how the fuck pushing two buttons is work, but okay. I'm not a selfish ass, lame ass bitch, and I'm not gonna sit here and hoard these receipts and put watermarks all over them and ruining them for anyone else to use. So if you want to make a video about this, Feel free to take whatever you need. It's all there for you guys. I share. Sharing is caring, and I care about you guys. So let's continue. Anyways, like I was saying before, I got sidetracked. So basically, after the big like explosion of like all the comments of everyone was like, what the fuck? The drama channels are quaking. Everyone's fucking running around trying to film. Jeffrey just exposed the shit out of Laura Lee, calling her an evil person. Shit has popped the fuck off and I am so excited to see what the fuck happens. I know it sounds so stupid to say that you're excited about shit like this, but how long have people been saying that Laura's a shady ass person? You know what I mean? Like people have been saying this for a fucking long ass time, including myself. You guys who have been on my channel for a while know I'm not the biggest fan of Laura Lee for obvious reasons. She blocked me on Twitter because I made a very like snide comment that she didn't appreciate, whatever. But like I said, Jeffrey completely outed Laura. So the big question now is, what the fuck happened between the three of them? You know what I mean? Because obviously we do know there was some sort of issue between Manny and Jeffrey. Otherwise, these tweets wouldn't have even been done. So I'm thinking maybe they did have a little bit of a fallout, you know, for a few days. Maybe Manny did forget the birthday thing. Maybe he didn't tweet him or maybe he didn't text him, whatever the case may be. One of the rumors that I wanted to touch on very quickly, I don't want to keep you guys here too long and I can't really stay up that much later. I will do a more in-depth video in the near future, but I wanted to just get this one out too. One of the rumors I've seen floating around Twitter has been the fact that there was indeed some sort of investment issue between 
Laura and Jeffrey and Manny. We all know that Manny has been a collab partner with Jeffrey and Jeffree Star Cosmetics many times. Laura has only ever been a model for his Chrome collection, I think it was. Was it the Chrome collection? Correct me if I'm wrong down below. But he's only ever used Laura as a model. He's never really like wanted to collab with her as far as like a product. And I'm starting to wonder if that was the reason why there was so much jealousy between the three of them, at least as far as like Laura and Manny, because how many times did they Snapchat, like all three of them, and Laura was always around and always with them and always talking about them or talking to them, you know what I mean? Like even through FaceTime in some cases, they, she was always around somehow. I'm wondering if it became a jealousy thing. And people are also now starting to say that Laura tried to turn Manny against Jeffrey, but it, it just, it backfired on her and now this whole thing is coming to fruition now so what could have happened you know what i mean we all know that manny mua has his brand coming out he's saying by january at the latest as far as a release date for his products i'm not sure if it's a release date for showing what the products are or if it's a physical release date for the products themselves one of the other things that kind of back up the theory about you know it being a jealousy thing is this when laura announced her palette and she announced her own brand not very many people really gave a fuck about it you know what i mean like let's be real all the tea all the shade no one gave a shit about that fucking palette and as a businessman jeffrey if it was an investment thing if it was a loan thing on his end and her end as a businessman jeffrey must have seen that release and he must have been like damn i'm not so sure i want to be invested in that kind of a brand you know what i mean at least with manny he knows that manny can sell product he knows that with manny those two together are fucking powerhouses as far as like sales and marketing you know what i mean like they're gonna sell whatever the fuck they can because people are gonna buy their shit people trust their opinions on things people love watching them but there's no getting around that those two are inseparable and they have been for a very long time laura has just been a recent addition okay she's not been here very long this also backs up my theory about it being jealousy Laura copycatted Manny's tweet about her brand being her brand and no one else helped her no one else Invested in it besides her and her husband Which was essentially the exact same thing Manny had tweeted that his brand was his own He needed no help from anybody. It wasn't without loans without investors. So it's like it's kind of like she's been like writing the coattails of both Manny and Jeffrey for a while because let's be real, like I said, no one really gave a shit about that fucking lame ass Claire's knockoff she wants to call her palette. That cat shit palette was just that. It was shit. So I don't know guys. I I am still shook at what I just saw on Twitter. Obviously, maybe I shouldn't be taking it this seriously, but when things like this happen, it's like it's so hard not to get wrapped into it. You know what I mean? Anyways, guys, I'm gonna go on out of here. <laughs> if you guys want to talk more about it let's talk down below what do you guys think about these rumors what is there any like merit behind them do you believe them do you not believe them why or why not i'm gonna go to bed i am fucking tired i love you guys so so much thanks so much for watching